Greetings everyone and welcome back to the town of Stygian Sanctuary where we are under attack. We have a moderately well-armed group of raiders at the moment. A few of them, in fact, are armed with... You've got a sniper rifle, that's terrible. Um, some incendiary weapons and in also a, gran a grenade. There's 11 people in total. I'm a little bit concerned about... About this um, if we were to install one of these uh, right about here for example then our enemies would have to approach they would have to lean out from there in order to take the shot um, sure actually let's try and get this done dark Ava, can you get that installed for me prioritize getting that installed Kalissa uh, you've got no time to grab that. Just make your way down. Uh, want Zebo down here as well, and Barry down here as well. Go, go, go. We need to get people on this right away. KD, can I get you to work on these power conduits? Same with you, Rhapsody. If we can get the, the power set up, then we may even get this turret in place and constructed before the enemies get here. Yoko is currently set to just kind of hang out in here because honestly, I'm a little bit concerned that Yoko will um, get hurt, frankly. Um, right now, we only have Yoko there and that's uh, it's not enough um, to ensure that she would really be able to deal with any attacks. It's a lot better when you've got a large group of animals um, rather than just a single animal. Uh, KD, after that, you need to work over there. Sorry for having to micro this, but otherwise they're just not going to do the work. There we go, and that one should hook everything up. Oh no! The last one hasn't been set up. Ah, oh, such badness. Badness, and indeed sadness. We might have enough time. We might have enough time. If KD can get over there fast or Rhapsody, Rhapsody may be able to actually sh turn it on whilst this fighting is going on. Dark Ava, I need you down here right now. Let's get you in here and just as soon as that is set up, there we go, the turret just came online. Right, uh, Rhapsody, KD, I'd actually like you to just hang back here. Now Yoko is in there because Dark Ava should be able to just release Yoko when the fighting starts or... or uh, Generally speaking, I'm going to say that Yoko's going to be there more to chase down enemies rather than uh, try and tangle with enemies um, when they're initially advancing. Now oh, that turret is actually in a fairly good position. Wonderful. We've already taken out one of the extreme dangers. Now let's uh, move on the Grenadier if we can. Fantastic. One Grenadier down. Now the Molotov Cocktail. Uh, this one as well. Go for him. We want that individual slain right away. Kalissa's just taking a shot, though. Uh, bolt action rifle to the torso. Not at all happy about that, I must confess. Uh, right. Go for Raven. And you go for Raven as well. Now, they are looking for some locations from which they'll be safe. Now, the, ad the advantage with that is, honestly, there's not going to be much safety down there. Dark Havoc, if I can rush you down through here... Then I'll have you just charge them from this position. Um, there shouldn't be a lot that they can do to try and stop you. Especially with uh, your shield. Uh, let's have a look at this. Oh, dear me. First rib has been shattered on Zebo. We really need to get you some... Uh, some... Uh, bionics. Sooner rather than later, ideally. Uh, right, Dark Avak needs to make a charge. Go, go, go. Let's get down there. Draw their attention if you want. I would be completely okay with that. Well done. Got a couple of shots in. They are not accurate enough to take on that turret. And the turret is really drawing their attention right now. Ooh, Kalissa just got hit again. Uh, right, Kalissa, I'm actually thinking it might be time for you and Zebra to bail out of this situation. Yeah, pull back, guys. Let's just get you away from all of the killing there. Dark Avak can handle this. Right, they're breaking. Dark Avak, release Yoko. And if you could take these down before they can escape. Yoko, you're free to go if you want. You can uh, go and help Dark Avak. After that, though, you're restricted to home. Uh, you, you guys go straight to bed. You are actually going to rest until you're healed, both of you, because it's actually quite nasty. 
Very, very nasty, in fact. Dark Elves just got a couple of bruises. Kalissa is bleeding, dead in 12 hours. And whilst you're in no immediate danger, a shattered rib is no small thing. Your consciousness has been affected by pain. Uh, okay, I guess the rib isn't actually messing you up too badly. All things said and done. Dark Elf can probably keep Aslan down. Yoko is free to go. That was actually not a bad little uh, engagement. I'm going to uninstall this and get that out of here. Uh, Dark Avex finished them off. Could you c chase them down? You might be able to catch Ritter, actually. Uh, Jess is still alive. Let's have a look at Jess. Now, Jess. Ooh. Cross the file. Pessimist, though. That's actually kind of nasty. Cow of Fascination, also kind of nasty. Uh, you're incapable of <laughs> animals, artistic, or firefighting. Honestly, I could have lived with artistic or firefighting, but if you don't like animals, I know you're a great fighter. But this Dark Elf just has no place in this colony for someone who, who, who might accidentally, on purpose, shoot Yoko. No. We've already got enough trouble trying to keep Yoko not being shot with the people who actively like Yoko. No. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you're not going to make it. Is Dark Havoc even remote? Yeah, Dark Havoc may actually catch Ritter. Dark Havoc is moving very, very quickly right now. Now, if we'd actually had some uh, deadfall traps in here, that would have been marvellous. So, on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and set up the steel deadfall traps. Uh, however, dump, dump, dump. There we go. We'll uh, set these up like so. And then later on, we'll uh, get them properly fleshed out and uh, alternating every other uh, every step. Are you almost there? Oh, you got really close, to be fair, Dark Avag. Really close. Right. Uh, are you being treated? No, Rhapsody is asleep. No, I'm afraid not, Rhapsody. Get over there and treat Zebo. And Dark Avak, go ahead and treat Kalissa, please. All right, that was not actually a bad engagement. All things said and done, I'm pretty happy with the way that went. I think our plans to move that around, yeah, they're really going to come in handy. Uh, Zebo, how badly wounded are you? Kalissa is really badly wounded, so yeah, you carry on treating Zebo. Dark Avak, could you... Treat Kalissa. Go ahead, grab the uh, meds, and then go and see to her, please. All right. Uh, we've got a couple of things that need to be shuffled around the place, and we can't break down the mechanoids just yet. But uh, soon, soon, I wouldn't mind breaking down these tr um, crashed spacecraft because it's going to cut down the amount of mining we need to do quite considerably. We have got some compacted steel down here though so uh, I am going to set that to be dug up because those um, traps are not cheap. They are really not cheap. Uh, right, I want all of these corpses hauled as a priority. Jesse, want you stripped before you die. Uh, Barry, could you do that for me? Honestly, it's it's in a way this is the kindness. They they're going to die a lot faster this way. Uh, I feel a little bit bad about that, but okay. No, ooh, what on earth just happened there? Oh, really? They got up and our gun finished them off. Damn it! We were about to get some free clothes out of that stupid gun. Oh well. Uh, how are you doing, Kalissa? Um, you know you've been treated. Um, the efficiency of the treatment is 79%. Dark Avak, can you treat yourself? No. Uh, so I'm going to need Rhapsody to come and treat you then. It seems that people will tend themselves if it's absolutely imperative, but they're not going to waste their time if it's not strictly necessary. Now, unfortunately, it's only the third hour and we're about to run out of juice there. So that's going to be pretty bad. I would love it if someone could focus on getting this set up. Could you deliver resources to this turbine for me? I think that would be very, very good. If we have this running through the night, that would be grand. We don't strictly need to worry about the cooler right now because it's so cold outside. It's going to keep the cooler fairly cold anyway. Uh, bandit camp opportunity. 
Ooh, what's this? Fedden, Prime Councillor of Democratic Dominion of East Tionin, has sent us a message. Apparently, bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. If we succeed, their relations will improve and they'll send us a reward. That's a lot of silver, actually. Um, let's have a look on the map where that is. It's going to be the first time that I've seen one of these. Uh, this is new to Alpha 17. You sometimes get sent um, quests, effectively, which is actually really, really interesting. That is very, very close. Um, but I have no idea how difficult that camp would be to raid. Uh, we've got a camp of the Armadillo men over there. Really? All this time, the Triumph Army have been attacking us from so far away. Hmm. But if we took that out, that might actually help us out. But we're in no position, realistically speaking, to take on that quest. It won't last forever. Uh, in fact, it'll very quickly uh, die, uh, go away. And at that point, there's not much we can do, really. Um, has everything been delivered? Yes, it has. So, Rhapsody, would you care to finish building that for me? I'd be massively in your debt if you could get that up and running. And once that is done, the connection will be re-engaged. There we go. Fantastic. That'll actually charge the batteries fairly well, I should imagine. Uh, how are you doing, Dark Alec? Not doing too badly. Okay. Well, at this point then, I would say it's time to turn on the sun lamp. Let's get everything sorted. There we go. Fantastic. We should see some things uh, starting to show up in there. Now, I'm going to say... Well, actually, Zebo at this point could quite happily um, cut people up because he doesn't care. Uh, Zebo has no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother him at all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold to slavery. Unless it affects him, he also feels no mood boost from socializing. Well, Zebo, uh, I would really like it if you could just butcher all these people for me. That would be a kindness. If you could just get all of that done as quickly as you can then I would be super, super pleased. Uh, while Zebo is doing that, though, we are going to carry on uh, digging up metals, getting the uh, trap set up. We do want these hauled, though, as a matter of some urgency. I do not want these wasted. So let's at least get them inside, shall we? And uh, the same down there as well. Was there anyone else that we managed to take out on the way? I don't think so. So that should all be moved around. Zebo's in a pretty bad mood, though. Why is that, Zebo? Let's uh, have a quick look at you. Why are you in such a bad mood? Very tired, ugly environment, hungry, wearing, tattered apparel, joy deprived. Feels bad. Okay, well, uh, this will happen from time to time. If you can just butcher that last corpse, then you are off butchering duty and you can go do, go do your own thing. There we go. Right, well, I'm going to lay a cut here and pass a little bit of time and get the uh, colony in order, and I will bring you back when there's something to report. See you soon. Oh, here's another item um, opportunity. This actually arrived very quickly after I said I was going to lay a cut. Fed and Prime Councillor of Democratic Dominion of East Tionin has sent us another message. They've learned that a collection of valuable items has been left for the taking not far from us. The collection consists of a cloth duster, a cloth parka, a cloth fur coat, a gas mask, and plasteel simple helmet. Unfortunately, it won't last. Others will take the item in 22 days if we don't. Valuables tend to attract danger, so beware. Fiedon says that there is a group of man-hunting animals wandering nearby. Mm, okay, well, how close is... Uh, that is not close. That isn't even close as the crow flies, much less anything else. The best route that we could take would be to go down along this path through Blacksmith's village. Um... Up along to Red Hill Confederation at the village of Gebela Mesa, and then over that bridge and then across, because going through the mountain would just take forever. But either way, that that's that's not worth it. It would take us uh, <laughs> the entire time that we've got to get there, just to get there. <laughs> We're not going to gain anything from this. Uh, anyway, back to getting things prepared. Okay, there we go. We have finished the first uh, setup of the trap, so time to add in the next, which, uh, sure, we'll go ahead and add these in, I think. There we are. 
That takes it all the way down. And then when that's done, we've just got one last pass as well. We've got quite a lot of uh, steel down here for us to mine, so we shouldn't have too much trouble getting all of that done. Now, we've began to properly sew the areas over here. Though it's amazing that the sun lamps will turn themselves off. That is so, so incredibly important. We've almost got the uh, fuel generator set up as well. We've got a couple of more things to do. We have still got a ship chunk to break down. Now, one thing that happens pretty much through most nights is we, we do tend to have a couple of people out and about really who failed Barry, you scallywag, you. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'm not going to hold that too too much against you. You're at least trying, bless you. Uh, but uh, one, one of the things at the moment is that there are rooms, like work rooms, we don't need to try and keep these warm. Everyone is, is quite warm at the moment with their very, very warm clothing. The only thing they don't like is sleeping in the cold right now. So uh, that's the only thing we really, really need to avoid. Uh, we've got quite, quite a lot of bricks as well. I'm really tempted to lay down some paths around here just to allow people to move a little bit faster. Honestly, right now there's a lot of slowdown going on and maybe that would be worth doing. Now, uh, hopefully a couple of people will actually get this set up. It's not like we uh, have a, we're shy of wood around the place so hopefully some people will get that sorted maybe possibly or i can force it i suppose could you please refuel the generator now i think yeah we're, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start laying down the uh the paths around the colony so the first one is this one and it's gonna visit all of these locations in this uh on this route um around here I was actually going to have a go down through here instead, but uh, no, we, we can do this. Uh, we'll just bring it across, and instead what we're going to do is we're going to shrink these zones, because frankly we don't need that many blocks outside this area. That should do. Um, there we go. Over here as well we're going to need some, so we'll pop one right there. And then this will run all the way down. Uh, over here, I would run it over there, but for the time being, no. Uh, escape pod relationship. Ooh, also Rhapsody going on a food binge. Ouch, that is actually quite painful. Rhapsody, really painful. But uh, relationship with the col colony. Uh, Rhapsody's father. Okay, ah, naked. Great. Uh, okay, you escaped. You were being shot, though. What on earth happened? I bet you've got a story to tell. None of these are terribly bad, though. You're a teetotaler in your game. Fair enough. Um, you're a sheltered child and a medieval minstrel. Uh, you're incapable of skilled labor. That's not terrible. Hauling, that is actually quite bad. Uh, oh, well, you're here now. You're um, much like Rhapsody, quite a good talker. Very well. Okay, well, we need to rescue you. We're not going to capture you, uh, so it really does come down to whether you want to stay for the most part. I would normally have Rhapsody and go and capture you, but uh, since Rhapsody is currently binging, we're just going to rescue you. Now, all right, it's time for doing a little bit of renaming. Again, I got distracted by all of the raiding that's going on. So, first up, we have Zebo, and Zebo has uh, whispered to Chaotocles that their true name is Orion. Welcome to the colony, Orion. Next up is Barry, and Barry's name is Scott. We actually ended up with uh, fairly normal sounding names, to be perfectly honest. Seems that Chaotocles was in, the, it was in a bit of a, yeah, you know, the, the, the oldies are the besties kind of mood. Uh, right, so that's all done. Oh, KD, Dark Avak, and Orion, they've all got the flu. Oh, my lord, that is absolutely dire. So bad. So bad. That is going to be incredibly bad. Ugh. Well, you need to rest until healed, pretty much. The flu is going to be rough, honestly. So let's get these set up. Uh, KD, you're going to have to take this bed. Rest until healed. Dark Havoc, rest until healed. Orion, what you're saying in bed until you're better. And Rhapsody, ah, oh my lord, Rhapsody. I thank goodness you just came out of your binge because I really need to treat everyone. Now, Dark Havoc, please. 
you are going to be so busy. It is going to be incredible. And then Katie as well. There we are. All right. Not the best of days, this one. It's minor at the moment. Uh, the flu is already at 36, but the immunity is at 41. Dark Avac, uh, immunity is at 42, 36, um, 41, 37. Okay, it come, comes down to uh, whether or not Rhapsody is a good enough doctor. Oh, that's that's particularly bad timing, honestly. It's taken three of our workers out of the count straight away. Oh, I had plans, though. You scaly wags. Oh, well. Uh, right, well, along the side of this path, I would actually like these tiles to be laid. So let's uh, get those going all the way along. And up to the door, and down, and across. There we go. I think this is going to be, make the colony look quite nice to have uh, these walkways around the place. Uh, we'll leave that one open there. There we are. Okay, right. Well, Orion, I would super duper like you to rest, honestly. I know, I know, cooking is important, and it is. But uh, you not dying from the flu is also pretty important. Since you've rescued him, Lorenz has joined the group. Uh, there's no conversation involved here. Lorenz has just decided. Well, actually, kind of good. Kind of good timing, to be perfectly honest, Lorenz. Uh, you're not a great doctor, but you're not a terrible one either. So sure, okay, you can you can help out with that. Um, in terms of wardening, yeah, much like your daughter, fairly good. But um, hmm, yeah, okay, you can have a, a secondary um, option on that one. You'll go with a three on handling because you've only got a, a mild interest in doing it. Uh, art. Well, you're certainly one of the best, so you can have that at two, and you can do cleaning at two as well. Ooh, researching as well. You've actually got quite a few twos. You haven't got any fours, which is kind of silly then, because there's no point. Um, well, give it, I don't actually want to give you plan cutting at, at a four. Uh, hmm. Well, honestly, handling, I guess we'll, we'll drop that one down just because... We've already got quite a lot of people doing it. Uh, hopefully, you can at least get some decent clothes. Uh, not really. You can, you're just going to have to cope with that for now. But, uh, right, the, the real question on everyone's minds right now will simply be, are you guys going to recover fast enough? Uh, you're, you're only a little bit ahead. Uh, you, same with everyone, really. It's going to take time. It is really going to take time. Okay, Lorenz, you're going to take a while to recover. Uh, you're just going to chill out for now. How's Orion doing? Okay, flu minor, 43%. Okay, it, it all comes down to whether they can get enough rest, really, and uh, Rhapsody's medical care. Fingers crossed, everyone. Oh, dear. It seems that we've got people rushing off to try and eat human meat. That is super bad. I'm going to have to very carefully monitor this. I need everyone doing some plant cutting. Uh, okay, so everyone who's currently up and about. So Rhapsody, Scott, uh, no, Orion, you're staying down. Calissa and Lorenz, I need you to be doing this as a primary um, priority right now. Yes, okay, you, you can eat the rice. That's fine. If, if you must, you can. I would really prefer it if you would then go and cook with the rice instead, but you know what? That's that's fine. You're not harvesting particularly well, though. That worries me. Uh, that worries me quite a lot. Oh, so many failed harvests. Could you haul this rice, though, for me? Thank you. And then hopefully start cooking. You cannot. How about Scott? Can I wake Scott up and get him over here to cook some rice for us? I hope so. Uh, Scott, if you could just make a couple of meals just to tide us over, because we are right on the brink. I haven't been out hunting for a little while, and that is largely because so many of my colonists are currently under the weather. Hmm. Let's have a look at Dark Ava. He needs to be treated again. He's at 83 right now. Uh, does Orion need to be treated? No. So, could you please go and treat Dark Avac? We uh, will get there. Don't worry too much. I'm fairly certain that we're not going to have any deaths from the uh, from the flu at the very least thankfully 
but we are going to need people to uh, st uh, come back off super high priority healing very, very soon. How's Lawrence doing? Uh, still healing from his gunshot wounds. That's not too bad. We will get you a new place to sleep before too long. We're up to minor now on the on the flu, but I, I'm fairly satisfied that we're going to be okay. So we might want to look at putting down a new place to live. Now, where would we like that one? Um, Lorenz, honestly, we can get you a little place over here, I think, without too much trouble. Uh, it's not going to be a particularly large abode. Um, just about that big in total. Um, I would probably prefer to have it um, flush with the the walkway, but we don't really have that option right now. Uh, let's just draw that down. There we go. And paint that all the way out. There we are. Maybe have some flower beds or something along those lines. Uh, we'll also have a wooden door, and then we should be able to get Lorenz a room fairly quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, an Ibex ram has self-tamed, and, ooh, a grove of um, the mysterious ambrosia bush has sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. Uh, okay. That's actually a proper little grove as well. 5% grown. Needs like level 51%, not ideal temperature, not growing, so we might not see these get to maturity for quite some time. Um, I'm not sure what we should do with that, frankly. I have no idea what ambrosia is or, or how it'll affect the colonists, other than the fact that at least one of them was addicted to the stuff. Uh, hmm, that's uh, an interesting situation to find ourselves in, frankly. A very interesting situation. Uh, I would really like it if Scott could come and work on the electric stove a little bit more. Let's get all of this right in. But at this point, I'm going to turn all of this back down to threes. Uh, there we go. Let's get all of the rice in there. That should give Scott plenty of time to work on that. How are you doing, Dark Havoc? You're up to 92%. Uh, it's a major infection at this point, but odds are you're going to you're gonna be completely immune before it develops any further than that. Uh, we're only 52% grown on the potato plant, though, which is a little bit of a concern. Uh, we are actually getting this place set up very, very quickly, though. Well done, Calissa. Very well done. Let's pop down a paved tile and then some light wood flooring. There we go. It'll take us a little while to get all of that set up, but uh, hopefully by the time we do that, Dark Havoc will be off his uh, sick bed and able to make you some proper clothes. Because, uh, yeah, I can't imagine that you're too happy with your your current uh, your current uh, nakedness. You're just walking around with nothing but a construction jacket to protect your modesty. We are desperately in need of more norms. I'm sorry, Bix Ram, but you need to die. Uh, any other wildlife around that we can go and hunt? Muffalo are oh, fantastic. We are desperate for those. Okay, well, I'm going to wait for Orion if we can. Uh, we probably don't have that long. Let's see. Uh, actually, no, you should be up and on your feet very soon. So we're going to be able to take Orion out with us as well. And that will, yeah, there we go. Developed immunity, developed immunity. Can you get up? There we are. Wake up. Time for you to go about and do stuff. Orion, developed immunity. Fantastic. Okay, cult. Really a cold snap. Oh dear lord, that's going to be nasty. Uh, all right. This is going to potentially be very, very nasty. Uh, could we get this um, set up a little bit more? Uh, in fact, let's make a little zone. Actually, in fact probably want a little storage area but for the moment because you you'll never do hauling orion could you do it for me just get that generator field we are about to have a very very cold couple of days uh let's get that there and uh, i'll let orion feel that okay so orion scott and oops calissa let's get out there we need to kill ourselves some muffalo Right, so drafted, let's get you down here. Uh, they all need to be set to be hunted so that we can just haul them straight away. We'll try not to wipe out the entire herd. We'll just hit three or four of them. And then come back. Dark Avak, I actually really, really need you working on this. 
like crazy badly need you working on this. Uh, we don't have fur coat. Now, just to clarify, uh, somebody in the comments said, oh, the, the, the game already has what I was describing in the last episode, the mod I was describing. Uh, but they were confused with the assignment of a uniform. That's not what I was actually talking about. Uh, the mod that I'm, I, I've still not tested it extensively yet, and I, I don't want to risk losing the save over introducing just some wild mod that doesn't play nice with others. But this mod would give us further options in here to specify that when we're doing until, that it doesn't include Deadman's apparel, because that's why it thinks we've got five fur coats instead of no fur coats, because it's also including all of the Deadman's apparel out here. But on that note, given that it's about to get incredibly cold, let's uh, actually, which one of these is the better one? Have we got any that, that are in some good state of repair? No, we don't, but uh, well, uh, go on then, let's get you properly kitted out. So you've got those on. Let's get you a toque as well, if we can. Let's go grab that. And yes, I know there is a top out there. I am tempted, but no. And we'll also get the cargo shorts too. So there we go. Actually, your synth thread pants were probably good. Uh, let's have a look at you now. Minus 19. It's not great, but it'll do. It is going to get so cold soon. So cold. Right, where's everyone else? They're on their way. We should be in position shortly to take out a couple of the muffalo, and that will help us out. But honestly, with a cold snap, I think we're going to lose the majority of the potato plants that we planted. Well, that's going to be unfortunate. On the plus side, the meat will not. Uh, look, look, no, no, that is a stupid place to sleep. Oh, my lord. Uh, could you please work on the wooden wall? We need to get their, their room set up really soon right thankfully the muffalo are snoozing this gives us a good chance all right attack one muffalo at a time please there we go that's one down move in let them snooze let them go to sleep starvation ah dread you're gonna be in a foul mood but i need you to kill these quickly there's another one now this one okay and they're already sleeping. And this one. Okay, let's not be more greedy than that. We'll actually, we're in a pretty dire situation. We'll take five. All right, there we go. That's enough. Uh, Scott is going to grab something to eat. So why? If you grab a muffalo and just get out of there, that would be grand. And we are going to set these to be emergency hold. I do not want these emergency hold. Just the muffalo, please. Uh, Scott, if you could grab one as well. There we go. Right, there's two more that... Ooh, a flash storm. Please don't hit anything important. That would just be the worst timing in the universe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dark Hour just fell asleep. Uh, oh, that is right. We had not yet uh, set these to be uh, places you could go back to sleep. Can you get... No, 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 no. Wrong bed. Absolutely wrong bed. This is your bed, Dark Hour. Wake up. Go to bed. There we are. You fool. Uh, this one needs to be assigned to Orion. There we are. Muffalo delivery complete. We are going to have enough food to get us through the immediate future without too much trouble. And on that note, I think we're actually going to wrap up this episode. We uh, Well, actually, before I do, I'll just set this room to be built. Uh, since we're here anyway, and it doesn't take too long to do. So, we're going to want a nice little bed for you. Uh, I think we'll set it up over here. And you know what? This time, you're going to have a plant right there. You're going to have a bed stand. Uh, sorry, an end table. Ooh. Uh, I kind of need the end table over here, actually. Okay, well, given that then, let's, let's change this around. I want the bed here. This can go. We're going to have a plant pot. Where are you? I want a, a regular round plant pot for now. We then want a dresser, not a, a uh, an end table. And mm, let's have a look. What kind of leathers do we have available to us? Yeah, I could give you human leather. I don't think I'm going to give you a human leather or anything. And 
frankly, the other leather is a little bit too important to us right now. Muffalo would probably be an okay one, though. And given that we have got Muffalo on the way, yeah, sure, I'm going to make you a bearskin couch. Um, you can have that. And I wish I had, like, a writing desk. Honestly, there are some mods, like, like um, Cthulhu mods and general cosmic horrors and stuff like that. I would love to get those mods just for the furniture they have, like the writing desks, the wood stoves. But I don't actually care for adding that element to the game, the the the, the kind of cosmic horror element. Not that I, I don't like that idea. It's just that, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to add that to the game, I guess. Uh, but what I'm going to give you is your own joy item. I'll give you your own little chess table. Um, I'm not, well, I should probably give you another seat. I'm not going to, though. Uh, this, this is purely for you to play and sharpen your own mind, perhaps study the, the moves from, from the Grand Masters of, of old. Uh, so there we are, that's that room set up. That'll be Lorenz's room, as ever. If you're interested in Lorenz, then you know what to do, and that is to post a comment down below in reply to the comment I will leave on the video, just letting me know that you're interested in Lorenz, and by what what name you think Lorenz should be known, and I will pop all those names into a hat and have Chaoticles pick one at random. But that's it from me, so as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked, some of you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.